Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Alasco, and I'm talking about emotional bullshit. And specifically, we're going to have a couple in here, Isabella and Jeff, talking about their relationship. And remember, emotional bullshit is about three basic dynamics, denial, delusion, and blame. In the relationship between Isabella and Jeff, we're going to see how there's the denial of an essential fact, which is that they need to stay together and find a way to talk. But actually what's happening is they deny that essential fact that they have to solve this because they slaps into blame. And they've created this delusional bubble that somehow or another it might go away on its own, but the fact is it's not. It's definitely not. And right now they're just really caught in blame. Jeff, thanks for uh, coming in today. Uh, Isabella invited you because she came in to talk to me and she's very, very worried about the relationship, but I'd like to get your perspective. What's, what do you think is going on between you? Well, it, it just seems like I can't do anything right. You know? uh -huh. like, Excuse me? Like I can't do anything right. You know, like, um, <clears throat> like I, try, I, try, I try to please her, you know, I try to do things like nice gestures and uh -huh. just sort of get kind of thrown in my face a little what bit. What kind of things do you try to do? Is Come on. watching TV trying to please me? I because... made coffee the other morning and I made it and I made oh, it just yeah. the way she he wanted made... it. Yeah, oh it yeah, you make coffee. Thank you for making coffee. I cook every single day three times Does a day. Does that seem like an appropriate thing to do to somebody who's like doing something nice for you? So, excuse me, I, I gotta stop you here a second. You're, you're, you're... Excuse me, if this is the way it's at home, this isn't, you're completely locked into blame. You're blaming her, she's blaming you. There's got to be some moments where you get along. Um, yeah. Do you have fun together? Yeah, we do. Uh -huh. We have a lot of fun together. Like what? What do you do that's, that's fun together? We went to a party a couple nights ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. so we friends. go out like sometimes and we have a lot of fun together, but then we get home and it just... Just deteriorates. Well, why does it deteriorate? You got to tell me why. What happens? Because he doesn't pay attention to my needs, oh. and he just watches TV every single night. So and you're I'm saying like, he isolates. Exactly. And it's, you're saying you isolate because it's a little hard to have like a conversation and you know, a full-on like dialogue with. Because they don't even try to have a conversation. Starts raising their voice like that. I so, don't raise my voice. Like, okay, excuse me. Stop again, please. Excuse me. Really. Uh, you guys are really locked into just blaming each other. You, you have to find another way to do something here. You have to find another way to communicate. Um, I'm going to give you an exercise. And this is something you do at home. It doesn't cost anything. You do it at home. And it's a very simple exercise. I call it constructive conflict. And there's a series of guidelines. And you sit at the table and you take turns talking. And because what's happening here is n neither of you can finish a sentence. A a as soon as Jeff starts talking, you start getting agitated, right? And then you get agitated and you get more agitated. And the anxiety builds and you start overlapping and everything breaks down very quickly, right? right. If you learn how to talk slowly and carefully with each other using the exercise, then you'll break this communication pattern. Are you willing to try that? Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right? Definitely. Did you, do you appreciate the fact that uh, Jeff is here today, Isabella? I do. Oh, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Do you think she appreciates you being here? It seems a little... Yeah, I, I think so. I okay. Do. So, all right. We would make tiny steps. Maybe the next time he brings you coffee, rather than sort of blaming him for not making it every single morning, you could just say thank you. Thank I you will, but nice. yeah. That would be nice? And a coffee and a croissant would be nicer too. Okay, <laughs> all right. We show you what the coffee and the croissant. Please. Oh, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some pastries too. <laughs> all right, thanks. All right, I'm going to explain the, the, the process for you. What we've seen is how easy it is to get stuck in blame. Blame back and forth. I would if you didn't. If you did this, I wouldn't do this. I'm only doing this because you're doing that and I can't stop because you won't stop. I can't because you won't. On and on, back and forth. It's a, it's a never-ending cycle. That's pure emotional BS. And Isabella and Jeff are finding a way to work through that.